the long onion creek. Alyssa? Robert and Aaron, the creek is not flooded yet, but the National Weather Service expects that it will be by tomorrow night. Now, if you were with us in the nine o'clock hour, this creek behind me, uh, it was down further. It's risen since then. Actually, if you check on uh, the, the public databases, you can see that it's risen nearly three feet. At this point, it's at uh, a little bit more than 13 feet. Currently, we're actually at a spot off of 183, but there is only one spot that the National Weather Service thinks will be uh, a flooding concern along Onion Creek and that point um, is the 12,000 block of old San Antonio Road. The National Weather Service actually thinks that area will become impassable, that uh, you won't be able to cross the road there and that it will likely be flooded. Um, that area is really low and it's flooded in the past. We actually went out there today. Uh, you'll be seeing some video from that. Uh, the water there is already rising up high at the bridge over the creek. The Weather Service says there are also some secondary roads that may flood in the area, but they don't think that any homes or structures there will be impacted. Now, the Emergency Services District 11 says they've seen standing water on some of the roads and they've doubled their staff patrols to respond out there. They've also been checking up on spots that have flooded along this creek in the past. They're urging people who live near the creek to keep checking on conditions because things can change here in a small amount of time. Well, we're telling them to uh, wake up in the middle of the night, set, set your alarm clock, go out and check and see is it flooding. Um, to, or, or either have arrangements to go stay somewhere else. If it does get flooding, does get bad where people have to leave, we already have been in contact with the Travis County EOC. We've been in contact with them all day starting a couple days ago when we knew this was going to happen. And now the water levels here, while well, they're 13 feet right now, they're expected to rise up to about 21 feet by tomorrow evening if things continue with the water going at this level. Now, the folks at the Emergency Services District say that if you live in the area, you need to keep checking the conditions. We will update you on KXAM, but you can also find public information about how high the water levels are rising, both on the L LCRA website and on ATX floods. You can actually, there's a camera there where you can zoom in on specific areas of Onion Creek to check the flood gauges that are over there. We also spoke with state representative Eddie Rodriguez. He says that he's monitoring the situation at Onion Creek as well. And while things look good right now, he understands that because of the history that there are many residents in this area that are concerned about how the rains will impact things here. Reporting live from Onion Creek, I'm Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. We'll send it back to you, Jim.